Good to go. Steve, a thoroughly disappointing night for Scotland. Can we get your initial thoughts, please? Initial thoughts are the best team won the game. Uh, disappointing for us, as you say. But sometimes the opposition play better than you, and that was the case tonight. Were you surprised by Ukraine? They started very brightly and didn't fade as the match went on, did you? No. Were you taken aback by that? No. It's what, it's what we expected. I knew they'd be well prepared, and they were well prepared. They're a good team. We didn't pass the ball well enough in the first half. We... And that's also credit to Ukraine, the way they pressed us. They got on top of my two ball playing midfield players and we couldn't we couldn't really get out. Uh, I decided to make a change at half time to try and address that and get another midfield player on the pitch and try and play through the lines. And before we have a chance to play with that system in the second half with two goals down. And from there was a long way back. I was going to say Andy Robertson in his post match has been quite strong in his comments, said that the game passed Scotland by um, and also said they didn't show up. Is that something you'd agree with? I think the, the first half we didn't play as we can play. We know that. Uh, sometimes that happens in football. And like I said, when we made the change, obviously at 2 0 down, we, we did get a foothold in the game. We, we started to create some chances. John's missed a big chance with, I think, still 30 minutes to go. And if, it, if you get a chance with 30 minutes, if you make it 2 1 with 30 minutes to go, then maybe you can have a little bit more composure as you chase the game. Whereas we scored quite late and then it becomes a frantic chase. And when it's frantic, the ball, ball rarely falls for you. It seems so far away now, but there are obviously more games coming up for you over the coming weeks. Armenia is up next. What have you said to the players tonight? And also, what will you say to them to try and lift them before going back out onto the pitch next week? No, I think the first thing you have to do is you have to suffer together. So... I'm suffering, my coaching staff's suffering, and more than anybody, the players are suffering. So we'll have 24 hours. We will feel sorry for ourselves a little bit. We'll analyse the game as a coaching staff and as a group of players. And what we'll try and do is we'll try and get back on the back on the horse, if you like, for, for want of a better phrase. And, and, and we'll try and go again. We'll go again. We What we shouldn't forget is the progress that we've made over the last three years. We came into here in a really good shape, eight games unbeaten. And like I said, it wasn't our night, it was Ukraine's night, so congratulations to Ukraine. Steve, they, they had a lot of good technical players. Was there anything you would have done differently? I noticed you, you made the change and took Lyndon Dykes off to try and you know, solidify the midfield and, and, and start to play football. Is there anything else you would have done differently? I think you've got to go away and you've got to analyse the game. What I saw in the first half was that we didn't, we didn't play enough through the midfield. I was trying to get... Billy and Callum on the ball more so that we could make passes uh, and like I said before we had a chance to, to do that but the idea in the first half was still to play the same was still to play through the lines and get one of, the, one of the strikers on the ball in that position and we didn't do that but sometimes you have to credit the opposition and tonight, tonight Ukraine were a good team It's painful now and obviously there's a long time before you you get to a World Cup. Is there optimism, though, that there's still something you mentioned to me a couple of days ago that you still think this squad will develop and, and get to major things? I'm convinced. I'm convinced. And that's why it's important that we don't forget how far we've come over the last three years. Is, is a group that's developed together. We have to qualify for Euro 2024. And then beyond that, by the time you get to the World Cup 2026, this group of players will have more caps, more experience and should be better and that's what we have to aim to be Steve do you think now having played the game everything around Ukraine the emotion the, I don't want to say added motivation but the circumstances do you think that helped them and played a part in how they played I think they're a good team anyway I think they're a good team I don't think it was about the motivation I think on the night they played better than we played that, 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 that's just a fact and sometimes that can happen in football this as low as you've felt, Steve, since taking the job? No, I've had some low moments. Uh, like I said, when, when I first came into the job, there were some very low moments. Uh, and we've, we've left those days behind, I think. I really do. Uh, we've improved a lot. I'm sad. I'm sad for the players because we wanted to go to the World Cup together. Uh, we can't do that. But we can't feel too sorry for ourselves. We, we're a work in progress. We want to get better. And hopefully... They don't, they don't make me out to be a liar and they do qualify for another tournament, which I'm sure they will. Last couple. All good. All good. Thank you. Thanks. Safe journey home.